This is a 22 karat gold coin. It's a small little coin, it's about the size of a dime. And it just has a little bit of copper in it, it's not quite pure gold. And I've always wanted to see what happens whenever you put it in dry ice. Just like whenever you put the coins in and they wobble back and forth, I wanna see if this one would perform differently. So let's go ahead and put this in. Wow, I didn't get anything. There's just a little bit there. No, yeah, it doesn't do anything compared to the other ones. I didn't see any vibration, I didn't hear anything. Definitely did something a lot different. Here we have our gold coin, we have a silver dime and a just normal cap copper clad dime. So what I'm gonna do is put these all beside each other and see what happens if they make much of a difference. So first I'm gonna try to put them in as fast as I can. Here goes the copper clad. That one didn't do much. Silver. Okay. And the gold. Wow. The gold was the only one that did anything compared to the other ones. That is kind of interesting. Let me just try warming this up a little bit. Let's try putting it back in. Nothing. Wow, that's really interesting. There's some really cool stuff you can do with dry ice. One of my favorites is just taking a quarter like this, and what we'll do is just place it in the dry ice, just like that. You can hear it vibrating, and it's shaking. It really is cool, because what's happening is the gas is coming up around it and escaping, and it's vibrating like that. It really is cool. Now what happens, now this quarter is super cold and it's not really gonna melt into the dry ice anymore so I can take a new quarter. It does the same thing. That, look at that. You can get a bunch of these going. It starts to sound really weird. <laughs> yeah, this is really just wild how these quarters are shaking like this. Let's, I'm just curious if we can use like a penny to see if it'll do the same thing. Yep. Here's a nickel. Maybe. Nickel doesn't work as well. But also, if you just take this and lay it on the face of the dry ice and push down, like a, with a, um, here, let's get a warmer, like a, like a fork here, any piece of metal. <laughs> it just totally screams. It's really, really interesting because that gas is just trying to escape. It makes these really weird sounds. It's like it's screaming. It really is just wild. <laughs> here we have a sterling silver spoon and here's just a stainless spoon that's pretty normal. So I wanna, I'm, I'm just curious what the different sounds sound like when you apply them to dry ice. This is a little block of dry ice here. See if I lay this down, they make that sound. So I'm curious to see what the different sounds they are or if there's even any difference. So let's put them on at the both time first. Ugh, <laughs> that sounds a little, ugh. I, don't, I don't necessarily like that sound. Now let's try just the silver one. Okay, and then we'll try the stainless one. I think they're pretty similar. I do think the silver has a higher pitch to it. Oh. And you get that in the right spot. It is really, really ear piercing. 
I'm just warming the spoons up. They work better when they're warm because they're more like melting that ice. Like, oof. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. So if I hold these on here just for a second, the silver one definitely frosts over much faster than the steel one, just because silver is a better con conductor. But that is just kind of a cool test, and it's just amazing how it makes these spoons vibrate. Really, it's just there's a layer of gas between the dry ice and the spoon itself, and that's what makes the weird sound. It was pretty interesting comparing gold, silver, and copper all on the dry ice. I think it was pretty cool. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.